trust me and every other dude that's hearing this Mark West Sports podcast is understanding what I'm saying. And then you actually get sexually assaulted? Like, that dude must have really not valued his life because... You're now watching a clip from the Mark West Sports Podcast. You keep these recruits. There we That's go. That's a touchdown. Touchdown. Let's get that gut. Let's get that gut, 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 gut. Yeah, you feel me? It's day kind of thing. You feel me? But again, touchdown, let's hurricanes. jump in some bullshit. The first Jaylen bullshit, Knightley. you feel me, before you say yeah. what you're going to say is the my uh, um, Florida Panthers, Miami Panthers, you know, our renowned head coach, second best coach in NHL history with the most records. I think he was 31 games left to be the all-time leading wins coach in NHL history. He had to resign because of some bullshit that happened in 2010 with his former team, the Blackhawks. Now, basically what happened, because Marcus didn't know what happened, is one of his players, I think he was 20 at the time, was getting sexually, um, not not assaulted, but he was actually getting harassed, sexually harassed by the video, video man. You feel so, me? So another man was harassing another man? Yeah. I, that's, what I'm, that's why I'm saying it's some bullshit. That's why this segment is the segment. So he was getting harassed sexually, and then they said he got sexually assaulted. They didn't go into details, but I'm thinking sexually assaulted, that mean that he penetrated or he did something like that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It just, uh, sexual assault could just be like the guy touched his ass or something. Yeah, that, that would be assault. Like it could be like, or the guy touches like. I don't think dick. it's that because if everybody's resigning and getting fired, be, behind Because penetration this, is like straight rape. Sexual assault is more like. Oh, like oh, you touch a titty or you t- without without asking. So That's basically, like assault. the Deshaun Watson case, because it's it's not sexual assault. Well, I guess it's, but, not, it's not rape; it's sexual assault. Get, get, let, let's go back to so the so panel. so yeah. So he basically got sexually assaulted. They ain't go into details, but I'm thinking about penetration. I'm not thinking about what Chris just said. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Especially when you're talking about a man. You feel me? A man on man. You feel me? So basically, that that's what happened, and um. I guess after it happened, he reported it to HR of the Blackhawks and also with the general manager. Also, they had a meeting in the head coach's um, office, you know, general manager and, you know, the guy, you know, that got sexually assaulted, you know, and other individuals in in the Blackhawk organization. And nothing happened, you know, to that situation, that dude that, supposedly sexually assaulted that guy um that that player stayed on the team as the video man to the end of the season and also he he was they won the championship that year and he was even able to you know ride and do the parade and hold the the actual trophy and this that, and the other so the victim basically felt like re-victimized because nothing happened to the situation but for me I don't understand the situation because first, I don't understand how another dude <laughs> gonna go ahead and say you got sexually harassed by another dude, and I don't need to holler at nobody to ha- to make that shit stop. <laughs> I don't need to holler at HR. I'm gonna make it stop first quarter. You feel me? And trust me, and every other dude that's hearing this Mark West Sports podcast is understanding what I'm saying. And then you actually get sexually assaulted, like. That dude must have really not valued his life because me, you're dead. You feel I me? Mean? Like straight point blank period, but that's just me. I don't speak for everybody. That's just me. I know how I, Wes, would handle the situation. So again, and I think that's the reason why nothing happened with the organization. The organization is looking at it like, how... You ain't Does handle, another man you ain't sexually you. harass you and you don't handle it without even like, what are you doing? It's not like it's a 
a young lady or a female or a woman that that you know is going to get overpowered. You know that's feeling unsafe. And you're an athlete. And you're an athlete that <laughs> and, play yeah. hockey. What is the one of the most ruthless sports? UFC and hockey. And video guys are usually like nerdy. That's, Ex- why, they're, that's why they're not athletes. <laughs> exactly. So, so that's been- why I think nothing really happened behind that meeting. But again, we're in a moment right now in time where everything is me too. You know. And this so, what makes it so even worse so for me. So because this story came up is why he resigned? Is what everybody else because they basically say you didn't handle he, it. Yeah, he ain't doing enough. Right oh, way. So it kinda you didn't do enough. How am I going to do more than you can do, Chris? Somebody's harassing Chris at work, but he want Wes to fix the problem. <laughs> How does that even happen? What? Hey, hey, man. Hey, stop trying to holler at Chris. What? Chris <laughs> is going to handle it on his home. Chris may not even holler at me and tell me the situation because it's so embarrassing. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to look at Chris like, damn, you ain't no man. You can't handle that shit on your own. Right. Like, come on, man. It ain't like you got dudes about to whoop your ass and you need your homeboys that got your back. I got you. You feel me? This dude is trying to holler. You feel me? <laughs> And you can't, you know, handle it your own. Hey, it is what it is. You feel me? Now, again, you're going to have some people that say, oh, you know, you're going to have some people that say, oh, and the Miami defense is, you know, all over the place just handling their business. But, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, Dan, that's a crazy situation. Oh, he resigned. I I totally agree with, with, you know, with what you were saying. I mean, like, come on, man. Like, the the (laughs) fact that you you let this You know we're going to get some black behind (laughs) Yeah, you had to let this keep going. Like, it went from harassment to assault. You know, that's the key for me. Like, why? Why didn't you not dead this immediately when it became harassing? You know, uh, it seemed like maybe – you were curious about it (laughs) you know it sounds like you were curious about it thank you you. know and then now you want to say something because you know he put his hands on you you thought that (laughs) you thought it was going to be a relationship you see how some guys some guys they go holler at a dumb and the girl thinking that like he really want to be with her man they they threw it the guy thinking that (laughs) Yeah, it's a holding. Yeah. The guy, the, the girl thinking that, oh, like this guy done took me on this date, the wine and dine me. You feel me? I done gave him the sack. And now he's on to the next one. You was just a little booty call, right? <laughs> so now you got this guy over here that I'm thinking the same situation. You feel me? Because I can't get over the fact that you're a hockey player and they be fight. They're the only sport. That make you fight. You feel right. me? Like, throw off the gloves and let's fight. You <laughs> are the one that's not going to fight and protect your manhood. For real. Against this guy. <laughs> I don't understand it. You feel what I'm saying? So, again, for me, like, it just doesn't make any sense. I think that's why the Blackhawks didn't move forward with this. But, again, like I said, this is a time right now where everybody is clout chasing and piggybacking off of the Me Too movement and this, that, and the other which I think is horrible because you got real victims out here. You feel me? That that they're 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 getting re-victimized because we got people over here claiming something and when it wasn't that. Like yo, you feel me? It doesn't I'm make any you sense. This game. You know, if it was a woman, I'll understand. But just the plain it's a guy on other. So now, and, uh, what are we gonna say now? So you got sexually assaulted by a woman. You're a guy, and you got sexually assaulted by a woman. How? Uh, Me, I'm going to be like, how did the meat get hard? <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. But it's different from sexual assault, though. Yeah, see? Like, like yeah, like like sexual, we said. Se- they, it's not all of that. You they kind of changed up because before it used to be like, all right, um, Sexual assault wasn't too much of a uh, of a uh, word back then. It he was just more put like, his hands on him. It was more like that's all that happened. He we, put his hands on. Yeah, him. sexual assault <laughs> is like you put your hands on somebody in a way they didn't want. So either like you you know touch the titty or you grab the ass or you grab them like Trump said, grab them by the pussy or you grab Perfect. the dick. Hey, Perfect. I remember when we went to Pull that to that UM game versus Notre Dame. 
some girl fucking grabbed my ass. She was drunk as fuck. She just grabbed my ass. She was like, woo, I grabbed that. And I was just like, they would consider that sexual assault. That but to me, or you over here. But to me, I'm just like, yeah, well, fuck it. <laughs> exactly. And, 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 and you probably like, damn, boy, something like that happened to me. A girl threw that. Like, boy, like, I'm trying to get in that gut. That's what a guy is normally thinking. You feel me? I'm not thinking I'm going to make a relationship about this. I'm like, hey, this girl, she want to holler so at me. I'm, I'm going to play devil's advocate on this one. What? <laughs> so you and I, we both married, right? Mm-hmm. So let's just say a woman at work grabs your junk. And she let's just say she, do, she does it in front of your dime, right? In front of my dime? Ooh. Yeah, that is considered sexual assault. I understand, right? but my dom is not even going to call like, no complaints. She's yeah. going she gonna to handle it her own. <laughs> what, but what if she keeps doing it, right? My she, dom going to whoop her ass. I mean, yeah, you can you can do that, but that's another charge, right? That's not a charge. You're defending that's, yourself. That's just regular assault. <laughs> no, nah, but you're defending you know? yourself. What do you mean defending yourself? The girl is grabbing your dude, keep grabbing your dude, Yeah. and he hooks it. He's keep grabbing your dude, right? And I'm there. We know if a man touches a, 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 a woman, automatically, if he right or wrong, he going to jail. Your wife is there. It's her job to defend you. Same like if it was in another but it, situation. But it's not defending like you can't defend yourself. Because you a lot of women can't defend themselves nah, and to see, a man. See, but we talking about, we talking about, I'm, I'm going to give you like this. Boom. It's me, my wife there, and a the girl, my one of my coworkers is grabbing my, my meat. You feel me? Me, I'm going to be like, yo, when I'm going to do that? And then she just keep doing it. Right. What you think my wife going to do? Yeah. My wife is not going to just stand there and be like, HR, HR. She going to beat her <laughs> ass. Trust me. She going to drag her all over the place. And when they call police, they're going to be like, I'm going to tell them, like, she kept trying to grab my meat. I don't, you know, she's my coworker. We have no relationship, no nothing. She's just intoxicated. And my wife defended me. You feel what I'm saying? Who's going to go to jail? Not my but wife. But if a guy, what, what I'm saying is, Both what, what, what if a guy. If a wife did that with if, my wife. If a, guy, if a guy's there, situation with that, if, if, if there's a situation you like that. You your wife and a guy do that to your wife. Let's, let's, let's just say your wife or, or husband is not there and it keeps happening, right? First time. It, would would me, you be mad at a guy that filed a sexual assault? Uh, suit against a woman who kept doing that. See me, I understand why. Yes, I understand. Yes, <laughs> you see, but I understand I why that. doing that situation. First time I'm gonna be like, yo, I'm like, yo, chill. I'm married. Boom, boom, boom. This, that, and the other. You feel me? And then she should understand that. Yeah, you feel me? Like my job is on the line. He can start um, um, um file charges against me. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't effing with me like that. You feel me? He's loyal. Boom, 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 boom. What we normally do. Fine. But then she does it again. After she does it again, that's when I go to HR. Okay. You feel me? Then I'm going to go to HR, and then I'm going to tell them the situation. I'm going to tell them the previous time. I told her what really happened. You feel me? And I'm like, I'm thinking she's going to stop. I got to holler at you now, HR, because I already know how this works. When it comes to men and women, they normally believe the women before yeah. they believe the men. So I'm going to go ahead so, and cover myself right now. So it's kind of the same situation then with this guy. I'm playing devil's advocate. You already know my stance on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. like, this guy, he probably was like, whatever this person is, you know, you know, says something that was sexual, you know, or whatnot. But I'm not going to take it to the next level because but I, don't, I don't want to make a story of it, or whatever. And then the, the they put their hands on you. And they do it repeatedly. And you a then man. the person what? has to be like, okay, I need to file for like a, a but I, and I, I need to go to HR and tell HR. See, I think I think with another man, like Wes is saying, like if it's a woman, then yeah, it's like you, you can't put your hands on a woman because you're gonna be the, you're gonna be at the wrong. Yeah. But if it's another man, man on man, as a man, you are gonna fucking handle it, exactly. right? Right, right, right. And just like that, 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 that big guy, um, that um, Cruz, um, what they call it, Cruz, and the guy grabbed his meat. And, and he felt shocked. Man, you a squirrel. You got all those muscles for nothing. You feel me? I would have beat you down to a pope. And everybody that re- are real men would have felt what, I, what, 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 what I'm actually uh, uh, um, doing to you. You feel me? Yeah. So in this situation, he resigned because he had to resign because it was this time. But my whole thing is I'm just tired of this whole bringing up stuff since 19... 19- 
1990, and, and now 2021. Now we want to bring st- stuff up. I don't want you bringing stuff up. You feel me? Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know, y'all keep you know what happens right though. You ever no seen sense. you ever seen Ray Donovan the show? No. Nah, really oh yeah. So basically, what he does is like he gets people out of situations, and and because of those situations, he'll have like a situation like that. He'll be like, oh, I know this story about you from back in the day. So stop doing this. That's basically what happens. You know, like something must have come out about him. Uh, or he had something on so- somebody, and then he was, and he just kind of got blackmailed for it. So he was like, you know what? Fine, I'm gonna resign. So it's unfortunate for the Panthers because they undefeated. I think this is the first time ever that the Her- that the uh, Florida Panthers are uh, undefeated. So it's an unfortunate time for the for the hockey team, the South Florida, they, uh, you know, the 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 home team hockey team. Because they was undefeated. They are undefeated right now. They haven't lost a, a game. And, and that's they why they also brought it beat up. the Stanley Cup champions Two time as winner. well. Uh, so And they look good. I've seen them a couple games. I'm like, damn, these Duke guys Claire. are, like, efficient. They efficient. They fast. You know, they, they attack. That's why they're doing that, man. Everything, when it happens good in Miami, now all this bullshit start happening. You feel me? Nevin Shapiro, we start being good, bullshit happens. Same thing over here when it comes to, to, to this situation. The Panthers winning, undefeated, the best team in the league right now. We got the best coach right now. Now let's dig up some bullshit from the past to, to, to make it relevant Van today. Tyler Van Dyke, 15-21, two touchdowns. Do you believe in second chances? Yeah, I do. You're not the one that did that. You just Redemption. handled it wrong. They fired you. You won three championships for the Blackhawks. They fired you and all them people in the organization back then. I'm pretty sure behind this. Yeah, he's the gonna, Panthers gave you a second chance. He's gonna get another job. He it's need to come un- back to the Panthers. Yeah, it's just unfortunate that he had to resign from us. It had to be. See, but my whole thing is have because be, it's us. They hate Miami. Yeah. Our beaches, our weather, our women. We have to be taking it on the sword because of something that happened. Would you be mad if he comes resigns for this year? He's gonna get a championship ring because he was the coach in the beginning. So he <laughs> still get a ring if we win. Yeah. Do you do you give or, um give him a second chance to have him be a? Of ex- course. Again, but then other people are gonna be like, no. You can't give these people. He's not the one that raped the guy or it's, touched the was, guy. It was a rape. <laughs> it's a big difference. See, I, I, <laughs> that's the only way. See, but my, that's my only way of I'm, I'm making it Equating rational it, yeah. because, like, a guy grabbed you and then you didn't defend yourself. It's like Terry and, Crews. And, and, yeah. Like, come yeah. on, man. What type of square shit you on, man? You ain't no real man. A real man going to defend himself. You feel me? Because you a man. No matter, I don't care what the times they sing right now. We know what it is when it comes to women. Women are normally not as strong as men. You feel me? And and I understand in situations, even though you're a strong woman, in those situations, how you going to handle it like that? But a man grabbed me, and I'm not going to check him. <clears throat> I'm yeah. not going to put fists on him. I'm not going to drag him. And then when, when, when he called police and, yo, the nigga, the, 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 the nigga grabbed my meat. I mean, truthfully, what am I gonna say? truthfully, this the whole story. The it's funny because it's almost like everything flipped. Like the athlete who's supposed to be like this big, tough, strong guy became the victim. And he almost sounds like a woman, the woman in this thing. And the videographer, who are usually like little guys who went to, you remember back in high school, you used to have a AV class, right? Yeah, all the, all the nerds, yeah, all the nerds and stuff used to go to that. Like this nerd is like, you know, like. Just putting this guy, this guy who's an athlete who should be able to whip your ass through some now shit. Now the guy, on the other hand, I think he, I think he is a rapist because he sexually assaulted a fourteen-year-old also. The like videographer, later on. yeah, the videographer. That's why he should really get his like ass whooped. Well. Like <laughs> afterwards, after they done fired him and That's everything crazy. like that, you feel me? He wind up um, doing the same thing. That's why I keep saying it's rape and not just sexual assault. You feel me? They probably saying sexual assault because they don't want him to make him look like a bitch. In social, in, in, in the media's eyes, but I still look at you like a punk, like you, like you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you, like you. How you a man and you can't even much? Uh, you not in jail? Yeah. Were they raping you? And, 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 
and, and even and, in jail, you should handle your own shit. Exactly. <laughs> you know nah, what I mean? But, but again, Fuck you, it's different when you're in jail. You in a cell with a person. You got this big Hercules guys that going to beat your ass and take it. Hey, you either, you gonna, you either, you either you, die, you either you, die, or you, you know man, what I mean? most likely they're going to knock your ass out. You don't know if you dead or knocked out. That's true. There's, you thought you was dead and you woke up and he done handled his business. That's, yeah, that's true. You feel me? I feel you. I'm, you have to kill me. But if I'm knocked out, yeah. how the hell I know what the hell is going on? <laughs> that's, that's you feel true. me? You don't think that he taking that shit? He taking it. But, but when you wake up, you got to kill that motherfucker. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> you got to kill that I'm going to kill him. You feel me? Shit's out of that Or you wanna take that shit To the damn grave You didn't take it to the grave You wanna come 16 years later 11 years later And run your mouth Like you a dime Like come on man. Yeah exactly I can't I don't respect that Sucker shit yeah. You feel me Like in the media right now They could go ahead and say Oh he did the right thing By coming out This that and the other Like how so You did the wrong thing By not defending yeah. yourself let's, uh, You a square let's, You feel let's, me Point blank period Let's jump onto some more bullshit Right that was, that was a good one That was a good one Let's jump onto some more That shit That shit made me laugh I ain't even gonna lie <laughs> Cause you already know Everyone that's gonna listen to this Let's jump into too. some more bullshit 